ask yourself, if the High Court webpage is inaccessible for four hours on a, web, on a Wednesday afternoon, does this create a disturbance to the fabric of society so large that it merits a change in the regulatory framework of Sweden? Recently in Sweden also um, denial of service attacks against several government web pages mm -hmm. which caused extensive media reporting about the immense damage that this was doing to the fabric of the Swedish society. Our party leader in Sweden wrote some articles uh, stating that maybe denial of service attacks is not the best way to get attention and maybe it's not the best way to promote political change. Parliament, I don't have a word for to describe these attacks. Att de har nog inte ordförråd för att beskriva någon form av cybersäkerhet alls. Överhuvudtaget. On the one hand we have cyber crisis, cyber threats, cyber attacks, cyber defense, cyber security and cyber... something else. Cyberhygien! Glömde jag i Strasbourg, men det är också i resolutionen. Bra. Jag menar ju att det är ganska bra ändå att ungdomar i Sverige tar saker i sina egna händer och väljer att uttrycka sina politiska åsikter även om det är mot domstolsverket liksom. Det måste ju på något sätt vara en funktion också hos de offentliga myndigheterna att ta emot mm. människors feedback. Mm. Ja, och det är liksom inte värre än att stå utanför en dörr och försöka hindra folk att komma in. Det, det är inte så jättefarligt faktiskt. Ja, nej vi får inte prisa någon dem för mycket för då kanske de får upplåsta egon. It's been sort of a a mask you can put on whenever you want to fight online censorship. Och det vi gjorde i Uppsala när vi när vi var ute och protesterade att han kan fetas också. Mm. Eh, när vi dedossade rulltrapporna på centralstationen. I, I Uppsala, ja, det var hur kul som helst. Uh. Nej, det är synonyms for attack combined with net or cyber used in Swedish media. I found something like five or six different synonyms only for kind of the attack, the noun attack. This is not really a useful way of addressing that problem at all. If you look at the pirate movement or the digital freedom movement uh, and compare it with, say, the green movement, then I would say uh, you can compare the pirate party with the greens and you can compare anonymous with Greenpeace. Uh, they will be more uh, prone to actions without the scope of the law to, to get attention and to push for their agenda. So when you ask a security expert to speak about new technologies, like cloud computing or social media or smartphones, usually they can fill an hour about the risks involved. And uh, that's a very easy position to take because, you know, as we are adopting more information technology, the information security risks are going to increase. So normally in the European Parliament, of course, I would be against mixing intellectual property rights issues in general with the cybersecurity issues. But putting over responsibility for cybersecurity on the private sector, which is what I think politicians are very much trying to do right now, like avoiding their own responsibility in setting up a political direction for society, but we elect politicians and we have political institutions and public institutions to take the public interest into account and they refuse to do it. And suddenly I have Apple venting web pages deciding whether or not a user with an iPhone can see a certain web page. And I think really that uh, it is not up to corporations, it's too difficult for corporations to make these decisions. And who was already saying it, we do not want to be the ones deciding what you run on your phone. We would like to have an independent organization that makes these decisions. Look at the European Commission. They say that they like ENISA, but at the time, when the European Parliament is going into trialogue negotiations with the European Council to uh, give a prolonged mandate to an agency that everyone agrees kind of is doing good work, what does the Commission do at this time? They launched a consultation on cybersecurity in Europe and whether or not additional measures are needed or not. So what the Commission signaled at this crucial political time is that actually we have no idea whether or not we actually need this agency or not. 
We don't even know what the problems are. Uh, ENISA was established in 2004. The threat wasn't that big yet. And in 2010, for the first time, uh, it became clear that um, there could be true cyber efforts, um, attacks on our critical infrastructure. It's still not clear how serious these threats are, but at least we know that they are there. And don't you think it's unavoidable that this kind of topic uh, raises fears and uh, fantasies? Because they are broadly unknown and uh, broadly uh, unfamous, so to say, among enemies. Yeah, well, I mean, they're extensively studied for a large number of years. It's yeah. just a question of whether or not the MEPs care about that or not. This is another topic. <laughs> 10,000 ways a hundred states Grown tired of all the ways I thought that I had known So many spaces, many faces Incidents in many cases With no home And I wish that I'd have made All the right calls Not decide to late. But I do the best I can, all with the little did I have. Okay, um. Are you comfortable yet? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Well, I'm placed wrong, so I will move back a little bit and you will move closer. Okay. And I will look like a cute couple. Okay. Det kommer Tess säkert tippa bort ändå. Jag tar om det bara så att Tess kan lägga tillbaka det i filmen. Ja, nej, vi får inte visa någon om oss för mycket. So, Felipe, this is the first time you're really, really appearing on camera. Why is that? Yeah, so you might be wondering, like, who's this guy who's in the camera now? So, I'm the one who's all the time filming the episodes for you, so I'm doing the dirty and unappreciated job of uh, the filming. And I just wanted to appear, so I have some kind of protagonism. Yes, basically this is his 15 minutes of fame. This might be the only time you'll ever see Philip in the episode. Or he might be back next week. You never know. Turn around without a fight. I've seen the